Here's Switzerland back again, building a seven cores uh, cell. I stripped them together and I'm going to weld them here since I consider <clears throat> that the electricity is positive on each of the outer pipes so they can just as, may just as well be welded together. Just for the fun of it, <clears throat> this is my cutting machine. <clears throat> this is the drilling machine. I show you what I did with this um, positive outside of the cell. I welded it on all the connecting points of the tubes. Then I constructed a triangle. I welded a bolt on it with the where I can screw on the positive electric uh, entrance then I took about half an inch uh, wide plates and went down to the three points as you can see I su suppose that an equal entrance of the electricity on, on these tubes will be an equal distribution of the electricity also. Um, I welded the tubes on the bottom too, same, all the, con all the connecting points. So this is a very, actually, uh, very strong self-holding uh, unit. Next thing you will see, it's the finished cell. Uh, what I will do will, um, in, in, in the end, I'll take a pipe like this, a tube, and make an outer uh, container to this cell. For, for those of you maybe who want details, as you notice, I have welded this washer on, on the screw. I welded it here. See? So when I put a uh, rubber washer here to, uh, to make it tight, the fluid cannot go through the thread and come out anyway. You have to fix it like this. This is an idea. So maybe if you have a possibility to weld or a friend that does it, uh, it helps. Here I'm not in my shop anymore. I am in Rome in fairly springtime and this is the finished cell. As I'll show now, this is the negative that can go inside
and all these pipes are being fixed with a, a bolt like this I welded I welded this screw on this pipe I drilled the hole so the water can go in and I use it also with the screwdriver to to hold the fix when I tighten the bolt on it like this I have a little space here to, to play with so the imprecisions will uh, be leveled out and now I have it. Okay. Now watch this. And then I forgot that this slides in so I made a little very unconventional spacing in between so that it will not go through. And these are the little feet I can screw on to to put it in the jar. I figured the better way to do it is to put it in this way and easily like this and then put on the bolts. That's it. Very simple. And then you have the construction mounted. This is my first attempt with uh, 12 volts and 1.2 amps and it's very little. At least I know it works. I wonder what it does when I put 20 amps on it. That's my next work. Here's another attempt I'm making. And it is again with 1.2 amps and 12 volts. I turned it off and the next time I'll bake I'll make better connections and try to achieve a higher amperage. See you next!